Yes, being invisible gives you a bit of a minus to your visual sight radius, so... Just be aware of that if you ever want to turn yourself invisible. There's potions and spells that allow you to do that. You don't just have to drink a certain fountain to get it. It has its good points and its bad points. As soon as you break something or attack anything, you become visible again. So it's really just for avoiding combat more so than anything else. Let's get a bit of a cold enchantment here so we can take these guys on. And we don't need a potion of clear vision. We could do with what's in this chest. New bolts, okay. Anything else around here? Just this mine. I should have been watching where I was going. Anyway, we're moving on. And it's kind of nice that we're able to get through pretty much most of the um, circumference of this dungeon level. I mean, we're, we're doing very well for getting around it. Normally, you'll follow a path and it'll, you know, along the edge and it'll reach a corner. Then it will stop and you'll have to backtrack. But this one, this one we seem to be going a nice distance around. I don't know if it's gonna go the full way, but I suppose we'll find out as we go. Get some free bolts. Ooh, bolt of squid in there. Two of them. We might come back for those later on when we need some more bolts. For now though, we'll just leave it be. And that was me not watching where I was going. Let's see what we have in here. What do you know? More loot fisk! Haha! <laughs> There's nothing like this loot fisk. Those tiny little rooms. Now, there's a little room here, and it's the only thing left over there, so I may as well have a look inside it just to see. So it's a teleporter. That was that. We've got a black pearl. Let's go over here. Nothing there. Just a Crap. Get those slot picks before we come over here and deal with this undead monster. And now we can continue on down to the bottom here and see if we can go in a full circuit right around this place. I don't think that'll be the case, but anything is possible. Another Anvil of Krong as well. We might come back for that. Okay, what happened here? I didn't see anything step on anything. Ah, there we go. Who's... Great. The Inconsequential Quest Monster is a Diggle Commando. So for starters, he's invisible. He's also an animal. So I really should not be hurting him. But I have to. It's a good thing, even though I whack at him, he doesn't hit back. 
Now all my debuffs have just stacked a bunch of times on me. So I now have... no, I still didn't kill him. There we go. And we now have this item that we have to put on the monolith. We also have to hide in a corner until this wears off. Because the last thing we want to do is go fighting anybody. Well, we have so many debuffs. We're basically, Jesus, we're zero sagacity. We've only got five savvy, eight stubbornness. I mean, look, a lot of these things are really low now. We have burliness and nimbleness and caddishness are all pretty good because of some of the items that we have. And, of course, we've had a lot of uh, boosts to those stats anyway. So what do we got? Another 80 or so turns. Do, 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 do. At least it'll get us a couple of lockpicks by the end of it. Because, of course, that skill is cooled down after 44 turns. And there we go. We're okay to move on and start beating things up again. Like you. You stupid, stupid demon. and we'll continue on across into the Diggle Room. <sighs> so many Diggles. And I know exactly what they're going to do. Get in my damn way again. It's like all they're good for when you've got the uh, vegan skill. Everything is just designed to get in your way. Yes, I'm stealing your eggs. Get out of my way. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Go away. Go away. <laughs> oh, thank god. I have to say, that is really getting annoying. I think I really would prefer to just be allowed to kill one or two of them. I mean, I'm not asking to be allowed to kill them all, although that would be nice. Just one or two. Oh well. We've got uh, about three doors along here that we can use. So we're going to go into the closest one to us here, which is down here. Past these guys. We still haven't found the switch for that. So we'll have to remember that it's there. Okay, looks like there's more undead showing up down there. And just a few whacks gets them sorted. Now, I, I'm really not liking that guy because he gives us this, the darkened vision. And it seems to be stacking a little. I'm not sure how much it's stacked already. But uh, let's hope we don't have to deal with it too much more. More acid bottle bolts. You know, I'll actually pick them up right now. Because if we run into a monster zoo, we'll need stuff like that. I should watch where I'm going. Okay, let's see if this is just a small tiny room all of its own. It looks that way. And it looks like those guys are no match for my awesome axes of doom.
So like I said, we're powering through this. I mean, we've got a little over half the map uncovered already. No sign of a monster zoo. No sign of the monolith that we need for the Inconsequentia quest. Still two more Inconsequentia statues somewhere in here to find. So don't worry folks, there's still lots more to do. And this silly little guy... Let us sneak up on him. Is this bronze bolt? No, bronze bolts are fairly weak. Let's just head on over here. That ring might sell for a bit, but I don't think we need it. And this isn't exactly a room of nothing, because it's got that door there. You see, we, we can't get these. Unless we have an ability that allows us to teleport over there, or we have an ability that allows us to push that off, you know, it, it's impossible to get that. So, I'm just going to ignore them. In case you've wondered why I've just walked right through some of those rooms. Okay, Loot Fisk, Loot Fisk, might be worth something, Free Bolts, don't see anything too fancy, more Loot Fisk, and an empty room. So we'll go back and continue on down. And we'll see if this is the Monster Zoo. No, no it isn't. Don't worry, we'll find it. Now, I think it is possible to go through a level without finding a Monster Zoo. I'm not sure if I'd like that. Pull lever to engage Dark Forces. Let's pull this one. I don't think that's the Dark Forces lever that might have opened this for us. but. Okay, that's summoned dark forces. Where were they summoned? Were they summoned up here? No? Okay. In that case, they might be through this bottom door. Monster Zoo. Oh, great. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Monster Zoo! So yeah, we back up a bit. And we will take this out and hit him with it. And then smack him in the face. Then we'll fire an acid bottle bolt down here so anyone passing through there gets hurt by acid. Okay, we seem to be doing all right so far. There's a couple of shinies. But thankfully our acid bottle bolts are doing quite well against them. So I'm happy enough with that. We only have a few left. You know, I might just fire one of these. And let that work its magic on a bunch of them. And I can see a level up happening very soon here. There we go, several of them hurt, and there's that level up. You could see it coming, you could see the experience just building up. So let's see, combat momentum, keep up the momentum of combat, eh? I'm not actually sure what that does for me. It didn't give me another skill, so it obviously gave me 
um, some type of buff that will activate. There it is, actually. Gives plus one. Um, plus one piercing damage. And plus two counter chance. Okay, it's. It's alright, I guess. It probably stacks. Yeah, we're up to five piercing damage. So it does stack. But it seems to only last for one or two turns. So unless you're constantly hitting stuff, it'll disappear, I guess. Oh wow, there's actually a lot of those gins in there, isn't there? So we have 67 more of these to get through. Oh my god. This is unreal. So many creatures to kill. And yet, luckily enough, we've taken very little damage. That will probably change very soon. I don't see us getting swamped just yet, but we are starting to take a little damage. Thankfully, it's not too much, but it's enough to start getting me a little worried. So, I'm going to eat some tofu. And start beating on anybody that comes up. You're not allowed to hit me. You can't hit a woman. Obviously, all these legions of Dreadmoor don't understand the concept of chivalry. All 48 of them that are left. 47. I don't think there was a single animal in there by the look of things. So I'm going to have to get through all of them. Wow. I am just plowing through all of these guys. I mean, we've got everything going well for us here. If every so often we're getting the um, offensive maneuvers buff, we're getting this momentum buff every single turn. Lively rejuvenation, please. I'd like to be able to heal up just a bit. Wait, what's this? Medium regen. Ah, that's what the lively regen did. Okay. That's nice to know. Was I poisoned, or am I standing on acid or something? Wow, just 27 more of these to go. So much grinding. <laughs> So very much. We're down to the last 20 now. Oh, there were animals. Right, well, um, let's just, like, um, squid bolt these guys. 
and try and kill them that way so that I don't have to suffer the uh, vegan problem. I know it's a bit of a waste of some bolts, but we know that there's at least one bolt vending machine we can get more from. Possibly more. And of course, we'll finish these guys off with a nice acid bolt and get an interesting looking helmet. Let's just run around picking up the money. This n-dimensional lathe. And we can continue on in a moment. Let's just see what this helmet is like. So it's um it's it's a nice enough helmet, I mean. Is it better than what we have? Three, one, two, two. Hmm. In a way, yes, and in a way, no. But in a way, more yes. So we'll keep a hold of this new one. Put that away. We'll put some more bolts down here just to have them ready for when we need them. And we'll continue on. We don't have to fear very much anymore now that the uh, monster zoo is gone. Everything is relatively safe now. Plague bolts. They sound very nice. 15 of them, 10 toxic damage. I am looking forward to those. And I should really wait out this, um, this debuff. Not too much more of it to go. So yeah, it seems to me that the, uh, positive effects of the vegan skill far outweigh the negative effects. Though the negative effects can be annoying. That's a pity. Let's just eat something. Put that in there. Put this in here. And with any luck, we'll get a good... Haha! Bolts! Ooh, some more... Well, some poison bottle bolts. Uh, not much else in there. Any kind of bottle bolt, you know, you see, get it. There's some plague bolts again. You see, a bottle bolt is great because you can take out several people with it because you've got the uh, huge area of effect on it. Now, hopefully, this Inconsequentia will have something in this small area here, and this door will hopefully have the other Inconsequentia. But let's see what this one wants. The monster Nog Barho, the sonnets of armoires, and his horde of underlings, Lord Dreadmore's 39th cohort, the Rotten Muffins, must be defeated! Well, it's not like you're gonna do it, so I guess I have to. And it seems like we're getting a bit of slowdown here. We just dropped down to, like, six frames. That's very strange. There's something not quite right there. So I'm just gonna stop the recording here and I'm gonna see if I can figure out what's going on and I'll be back.